everyone. Today I'm going to talk about rest time. It's really important to rest. Our healthcare professionals tell us that, but you know what? So does Jesus. In today's gospel reading, in Mark chapter 6, we start at verse 30, and he's talking to his disciples. Remember a couple of weeks ago he sent out the, the disciples without any suitcases or backpacks to go with them to teach others about the things that they had learned from him? Well, they're back. So, Jesus says, so here's is the way it starts. The apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all they had done and taught. He said to them, come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest for a while. For many were coming and going and they had no time to rest or eat. Jesus knows the importance of rest, especially when you've been really, really busy. That rest time is really important. So how do you rest? Well, today I have brought a blanket outside and I've put it in the shade. I've brought some of my favorite pillows out and I'm just gonna take some time to rest. What can you do while you're resting? Well, some people like to fall asleep for a while, but what if you can't sleep? Well, I like to lay on my back and look up at the sky and look at the clouds and see what kind of shapes I can make out of them. I also like to read books. Here are some of my favorite children's books that I have. I like to do things like journal. So I like to write down all about my day. And also I like to have fun sometimes sketching. So I have a plain white sketchbook that I can do some sketching in if I want to. I could do some painting or coloring. You can bring out your favorite coloring book and some crayons. Something that you can do quietly. You can bring out some music or just listen to the breeze. And what else is going on around you? This is a really lovely time to just focus on what you can hear. Can you hear birds? Can you hear someone cutting their grass? When was the last time you played with some Play-Doh? Maybe bring out some Play-Doh and just manipulate it. You can make something, but then whoosh it again. Because really what you want to focus on is how it feels and how does it make you feel when you squish the Play-Doh. What about bringing out maybe some Lego on your fa or some of your favorite building sets and just create something. Just spend some time quietly. Don't talk to anybody about it. Just do it quietly yourself. There's so many things that you can do to spend time and rest. And this summer, because things are opening up more, we can get really, really busy doing all the things we weren't able to do before. So rest time is really important. So while you're on your holidays from school, take some time to have fun, but also take some time to rest. Next week, you're going to hear another story from Terry, your teacher, and her granddaughter, Allie. And it's gonna be the story of feeding 5,000. I hope you enjoy it. After that, I'm going to be on holidays. So I will see you again in September. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful summer and that you fill it full of fun and times to rest. Let's say a prayer. Greater God, May we make our homes places of relaxation and rest, joy, love, peace, and safety. May we be generous and considerate, not thinking only about ourselves, but helping others to enjoy the blessings of summertime. Guide our steps and strengthen our hearts during these months. Grant us refreshment of mind and body, and may we constantly strive to make a meaningful difference in the lives of our loved ones and in the world around us. We ask this through Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful summer, and I'll see you in September. Bye for now.